Ah, uh, Star Metal. That elusive ore that's needed for oh so many things in this game. With the release of Chapter 2, they've um, made it mildly more difficult to acquire than it even used to be. Now, some of you all might not even know where to find Star Metal or crack it open when you do. You may have never had the genuine, terrifying experience of it trying to crush you or land right near you as it spawns in. Unless you live on Sifter, then it's a little bit more common. There's a few different ways that you can crack them open, but once you do, with the release of Chapter 2, how do you harvest them? You might be there using your Arcarinian pick going, why isn't this working? And then you think your computer's broken, so you get someone else to try it and they think their computer's broken and then you do some research and find out that in fact, no, they've just changed some stuff for some unknown reason to make progression harder or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. They've got some questionable choices I've mentioned before in the past. This is, I believe, one of them. But now you can get the Black Blood pick, which is one of the picks you can use for harvesting it very easy from over at the Black Galleon for 15 Ancient Obelisks. You can also go into the volcano, craft some obsidian, go back home, some obsidian bars that is, go back home and make an obsidian pick. They're both of the same tier, so they're going to give you the same amount of star metal when you harvest it. Arcaranian pick does in fact not work, which seems strange because it is in fact a higher tier than hardened steel, but you can use a hardened steel one if you desire to have slightly more and you don't want to get the black blood or the obsidian. You can get a hardened steel pick, take it to the frost temple over here, and turn it into a black ice pick, which used to be kind of meh, but now it harvests star metal and is mildly easier to come by than some of the other ones. Um, yeah, but you can just use a hardened steel pick. Now there are a couple of ways to explode these ores once you do find them, which we'll get into in a moment. Some of the locations that you can find them, one of my favorites being Skyfall Ridge, just above Stargazer's Crest. You can also find them all in the frozen slope area as well, and sometimes as far up as like over here. I've seen them as far down as Stargazer's this crest as well all over this valley all the way over to the Alkes camp don't think we if we found any like all the way over there maybe stopped a little bit before then but anywhere that the star metal can get caught here it basically will i've never really seen it further past here either but yeah let's get into how we can explode these guys i've gone and have prepared some things so you can use an explosive jar but it is kind of hard to get them placed and they can roll away and it's kind of expensive but you can use one dragon powder and make some explosive arrows which which is generally the go-to when exploding star metal nodes or you alternatively can use demon fire orbs but it's going to take you a few and they're kind of difficult to get in that location oh it only took one that time sometimes it takes a few we're going to use a few of them to test it out so on official settings i got like 60 with that black blood 68 obsidian 68 because they're the same arcaronian fucking nothing and hardened steel is going to give us 52 so yeah for that eight extra i'd say it's pretty worth turning your hardened steel pick into a black ice pick it's also worth mentioning if you happen to have a bunch of sorcery levels that you can in fact use mass cull you do need to have at least 25 percent corruption for it 20 percent corruption rather and then this one and it will corrupt you a bit when you use it and that in itself gave me like 400 star metal so not bad and if you don't feel like grinding out stuff that's pretty easy to grind out to make explosive arrows you can always make these orbs but you do need an alchemist but you can always buy an alchemist for 50 gold over by flotsam in this little area while you're over there you can always buy a black blood skinning knife but as we were struggling i thought some other people might be struggling and i'd make a little guide on how we harvest this now don't bother trying to use an iron steel ocaronian pick any of those rubbish and if you didn't know how to explode them before, well, now you do. If you happen to find this video useful, do smash the like button and uh, consider subscribing. It means a lot and I'm starting to get closer to that thousand subscribers, which would be pretty cool. Until next time, I hope you all have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.